Those latest travel mandates now in place. The governor has ordered anyone entering the state for non work travel to quarantine for 14 days. This includes those hitting the roads. Eyewitness News reporter Brandon Truitt at a new checkpoint off of Route 95 in Hopkinton with what drivers should expect. We are at one of four of the information centers that are doing this operation. If we take you in, you can see there's a white tent set up with the National Guard. They are talking to people, getting information on where you're going and how long you're going to be there. From there, it is a mandatory 14-day quarantine. Folks who are asking for contact information are very compliant. They realize we're doing this for their own safety. The Rhode Island border might look a little less inviting. New video this noontime of drivers being greeted by state police cruisers and National Guard Humvees. But Governor Gina Raimondo says these are the steps aimed at stopping the coronavirus spread. The implementation of this plan was created in consultation with my legal team and the Attorney General. It stands in place, and if I need to expand it, I will do that. Right now, checkpoints are set up at these four locations, but Governor Raimondo says more could be on the way. Set up along the southern border, the governor says the spots were picked based on travel volume. If an out-of-state vehicle does not stop at the first information station that they pass, a member of the Rhode Island State Police We'll pull them over to direct them to the second information station. This policy overriding a previous one designed for travelers from New York. Now, all plates from any state must pull over as instructed. If you're passing through, you'll be sent on your way. But if you plan to stay, you must start a two-week quarantine. In addition to these checkpoints, the National Guard is partnering with local police departments, particularly in our coastal communities, saying they will be going door to door to help spread information that the best thing you can do is just stay home. In Hopkinton, Brandon Druid, Eyewitness News.